Hey guys, what is going on? So there's not gonna be any fancy setup this time. I just wanna share my thoughts on the rumors that are coming that the new Galaxy Note 20 is gonna come with the Exynos 990 instead of the 992 or something better. And you know, this really pisses me off because the 990, it's just a god awful chip. And I know I made a video if you have the Exynos 990 on the S20 or S20 Ultra, then it's not a big deal because the phone still works and performs all the basic tax tasks that you need. That video was just to let those who have the 990 just you know, put them at ease, let them know that you know it's not the end of the world. You can still make do, but the reason that I hate the chip so much is mostly because of battery life. The battery life on this chip is so bad. If the battery life was decent, then I could have made do of the performance difference because you know I don't game on the phone I just use it for daily tasks you know night games here and there I don't care that you know I don't play heavy games for hours and hours I, that's what I have a PC for okay but come on this is a note phone what happened to the time where notes were the most powerful devices you could get the rumor that it's not gonna get the Exynos 9092 or any better chip than that it better not be true because if it's true if it's really gonna get the Exynos 990 again then I don't know what I'm gonna do, all right? I have bought every single Note phone since the Note 8, and I don't plan on skipping out this year. You know what, what phone I'm using right now? The Galaxy Note 9, because this one has a custom ROM and a custom kernel, which means battery life is great. I don't know about performance, if you could play games hours at a time, but I haven't had any problems whatsoever. So that this is my dilemma. Should I buy the Note 20 Ultra and just flash some stuff on there and let you guys know if it fixes some of the disparities, if not like at least one or two, like battery life? Or should I spend an extra $500 in importing one from the United States like I did with my S20 Ultra? The problem is buying it from the US is just so much more expensive and then they're gonna pay import taxes, which was 250 so I don't know what I'm gonna do personally, apart from just waiting till the launch to know, to know exactly what chip it's gonna have. If it's gonna have the 990, I'm just gonna import it from the US. I don't care if you can't fix it in my country, as long as I have a Note 20, that's a beast. Or I'm gonna buy the Exynos version and I'm gonna make do, and I'm gonna flash the heck out of it and try to make it an enjoyable experience. But, you know, forget what all the rumors are saying. Forget what Max Weinbach says. Don't really like him, by the way. And forget what, what anyone says for a bit. And let's see what actually comes in the end. Because, you know, leaks, they're not always right. Despite all the evidence they may have. Let's hope that, you know, for those of you who can't spend the extra money to import a phone, let's hope that you are going to get the Exodus 992 in your country because that ship should fix the disparity between Snapdragon and Exynos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.